Hey, it's Sarah. How are you? Are you ready for this new month and this new energy? Everything seems to be coming together, doesn't it? In today's video, we're going to look at the July 2022 forecast for Leo natives. This is sun, moon, and rising sign in Leo. I am going to be doing a general reading, and because of that, it may not resonate with you. And if it doesn't resonate with you, no worries, just pass it on by, and I do hope you find what you're looking for. This has been an exciting time. In June, we saw Leo becoming the social butterfly, and uh, huh, yeah, you were networking, you were meeting new people, you were having just a lot of fun, and getting a lot done, making new connections, and it was just a really good month for you. So what does July hold in store? Well, let's see. The first card I'm going to draw will be the energies you're bringing forward from June into July. And the card is self-reliance. Well, I think this pretty much um, sums up the month of June, but this pretty much sums up your life too, doesn't it, Leo? I mean, you are pretty self-reliant. You don't like to rely on anybody else. You don't like to depend on anybody else because in the past you've been disappointed. So you're pretty self-reliant. I think that's gonna continue into July. And I think overall in July, the astrology looks like things are gonna slow down as, um, as we move out of Cancer season and into Leo season. With July being slower, we're gonna release things that aren't working, we're gonna finish up projects, and we're going to take care of any loose ends or anything that, you know, long-standing that we need to take care of so that everything's clear when we start the new month of, well, start Leo season. So yeah, I think, uh, I think it's going to be a very good month overall, a very busy month, but in a different way than June was. Okay, let's look at your biggest obstacle. Moving forward fearlessly. Okay, this is not something we like to admit, but uh, occasionally Leos have a little bit of fear, whether it's stage fright or whether it's fear that maybe we're not doing enough or we're not doing it correctly or maybe fear that we're making a, a mistake. So I think with everything going on, you're trying to clear up these loose ends, clear up these projects that, yeah, you may feel a little bit overwhelmed and with it, you may be afraid of moving forward or afraid of maybe finishing some of these longstanding problems or projects because, you know, what happens then? What, what do you do next? So I think this is common and natural, and I think it's actually a good sign to be a little bit worried or careful about the future, but you got this, you got this, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna make good decisions and everything's gonna come together. So step out there and know that it's okay for you to move forward and it's okay to get these projects completed. Okay, let's look at your biggest asset for the month. Trust your intuition. Oh, this is a good one, Leo. This is a really good one. Okay, you know that you have amazing inner guidance. Leo is a very lucky sign, and part of that luck is listening to our intuition, listening to our inner guidance and checking in with spirit. And when we do, guess what happens? We go with the flow, we move forward, and things pay off. And I think that's what's gonna happen in July. You're going to trust your intuition and see that things just fall into place. So there's reason, no reason to be worried about the future when you know that your intuition will lead you astray. So yeah, I think this will be your biggest asset for the month is your intuition and trusting in it. Okay, let's look at your home life. It's been interesting. A lot of Leos are moving or buying houses or selling houses or properties. So this is, a, this is a time of change, but I mean, it's good, it's good. You're ready to travel, you're ready to see the world and, and do some new things. 
So what does your home life look like in July? Peace of mind. Okay, this card has come up before um, in some other readings for home life too. Um, peace of mind is, of course, not worrying. Not worrying about your home, not worrying about the state of it, not worrying about um, the payments or not worrying about the taxes, not worrying about, you know, repairs or anything like that. Being able to just relax and go on about your business and know that you can come back to your castle and everything will be fine. So I think, yeah, I think this is peace of mind around your home life, with your house, with the physical place that you live and the people that are in your home as well. I think things are working out with your loved ones and you're moving forward there too. And uh, let's let's look at your love life. Let's, let's see what's happening there. Let's draw a card for single Leos. Environmental awareness, okay. When we look at that with um, romance, I would say there's probably someone in your orbit, somebody in your circle or your neighborhood even, who is interested and maybe you're interested in them too, but maybe you haven't really made the first move, you're waiting for them, yeah, well, it's probably better that you just go ahead and step up and you make the first move because while they're aware of you and you're aware of them, they may not feel confident in talking to you or asking you out. So if there is someone in your orbit, your neighborhood or your friend circle that you're interested in, go ahead this month and make the first move. I think, uh, I think you'll really enjoy getting to know this person much better and there is a good possibility of a long-term relationship forming. Okay, so let's look at partnered or committed Leo natives, partnered or committed Leo natives. Oh, romantic partner. So there could be somebody new. <laughs> uh, there could be somebody new, Leo, that's um, interested and um, maybe something could happen. Maybe you could um, have an affair or something like that. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to, but you're probably gonna have the opportunity. Whether or not you do it, that's up to you. But yeah, there is probably somebody in your in your orbit as well or your neighborhood that is interested and um, that doesn't mind that you're committed. And if you move forward on this, then let's see what will happen. Um, let's use this deck. If you move forward with this, what's likely to happen? energy and miracles so yeah i think it'll definitely change the energy of your relationship and it will change your energy too um and it could be miraculous this could be somebody that you've been waiting on for a long time and they've come back to you or this is uh, moving forward in a direction that you wanted your life to go in. So there is that possibility that this is the right thing to do. But of course, each situation is different. And I would definitely look at the full outcome and look at if this would be something that would be detrimental to your relationship or hurt your partner. So just be careful of that. Okay, that was an interesting turn of events. Let's look at the best stone for the month and then we'll look at the outcome. Okay, so the best stone to work with in July for Leo. Hmm, Bucasidoni. Okay, this is interesting. Sorry about that, my battery died. So let's, uh, let's try that again. Blue Chalcedony or Chalcedony, depending on how you say it, is a really interesting stone. It absorbs negativity and promotes emotional and mental harmony. It really helps us with feelings of being grounded in the moment, in our relationships, in our community, in our place in the world. And it also fosters generosity. I think it's something that can, can really help us uh, with our focus and with staying on task. So if you're struggling 
too many projects, too many things going on, and you feel like you're not following through on them, wear or carry a small piece with you of this beautiful stone, and you should see and you should see a, a big difference in your mental focus. It's also believed to help us with communication and perception, and also eloquence. So being that it's a blue stone, of course, it will work with the throat chakra to help us speak more eloquently too. So a really good stone, everyone should own it and have it in their healing toolbox. So if you stay on the current path you're on now, Leo, where will you be at the end of July? Look inside yourself. Okay, that's an interesting card. This basically is like uh, telling you you have the answers. You don't have to go out and um, seek advice from other people. And perhaps seeking advice from other people is not the thing to do anyway because your situation is unique to you so yeah i think you know exactly what you need to do it may not be what other people would do and it may not seem logical either but i think yeah so it's time to tap into that inner guidance that inner wisdom listen to spirit listen to your spirit guides and do what you need to do don't be afraid to stand up for yourself which Leo's generally not, but this has been a crazy last couple of years. So your confidence has come up and gone down, come up and gone down. So this has been a, a really trying time for Leo natives. But um, yeah, if you feel like the relationship that you're in is not working out, then it may be time to have, you know, um, one of those talks with your partner. And that's what this could be leading towards. Or it could be it's time to change jobs or it's time to do something else different in your life. It happens, I mean, it happens to all of us. From time to time, we end chapters and to do that, we have to close doors, but then miraculously another door opens. So yeah, I think you're gonna be fine compared to June, this is going to be a much slower month. You're still going to be socializing, but you're going to be more focused on taking care of business, taking care of those projects and finishing up, tying up loose ends and those types of things. So yeah. So overall, a very interesting reading for Leo. Um, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, this, this was interesting. I'll be very anxious to see what August brings for all Leos. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching, subscribing, and being a part of the Serenity Crew. If you haven't already, be sure and subscribe, like this video, and consider becoming a member or a patron. I'll talk to you soon. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.